Have you ever wondered why English is so full of little puzzles? One of these delightful enigmas is the phrasal verb and its corresponding unhyphenated noun. Understanding these can unlock a new layer of fluency in your English communication. So, buckle up as we dive into this fascinating world. Our first unhyphenated noun is dropout. A dropout refers to someone who gives up or discontinues something. Picture this. There were a lot of dropouts that year, I wonder why. Interesting, right? Next up is checkout. Now this isn't about leaving a place in a hurry. It's the place in a shop where you pay for your goods or the act of leaving a hotel and paying your bill. For example, your fruit and vegetables will be weighed at the checkout. Moving along we have lookout. A lookout is a person who watches for danger. Imagine being on a boat and needing someone to be a lookout to keep an eye out for rocks. Handout is our fourth unhyphenated noun. This refers to a document given to students or reporters that contains information about a particular subject. Picture this. On page 2 of your handout, you will find a list of the books that I have referred to during the lecture. Next we have changeover. This signifies a complete change from one system or method to another. Consider this. The changeover to the new taxation system has created a lot of problems. Quite a situation, isn't it? Leftovers are what's remaining after a meal. A familiar scenario could be, this recipe can serve four easily and the leftovers are just as good eaten cold. Our seventh unhyphenated noun is crackdown. This refers to an action by an authority to stop something. For instance, the government is calling for a crackdown on drivers who speed through red lights. Hideout is next on our list. A hideout is a secret place where someone can go when they do not want to be found by other people. Imagine having a secret hideout under the bushes. Turnover is our ninth unhyphenated noun. It represents the amount of business that a company does in a period of time. For example, the business has an annual turnover of 50,000 pounds. Next, we have cutback. This refers to a reduction in something made to save money. For instance, the government has announced a series of cutbacks in funding for universities to save money. Our 11th unhyphenated noun is breakthrough. This refers to an important discovery or event that helps to improve a situation or provide an answer to a problem. Consider this. A major breakthrough in negotiations has been achieved. Last but not least we have breakdown. This signifies a failure to work or be successful. Imagine having a breakdown in the middle of the road when your car stops working. Quite a pickle, isn't it? Now let's revisit two important notes. Firstly, the plural form of these nouns is created by adding an S to the particle, not the verb. An exception is goings-on, which is always plural. Secondly, when pronouncing these words, the stress is on the verb, not the particle. For example, a break-in at the office, college dropouts. In conclusion, understanding phrasal verbs and their corresponding unhyphenated nouns can significantly improve your English communication. So, keep exploring these little linguistic puzzles and watch your language skills soar.